Hi everybody, so today's video is going to be like my hygiene items and all of my personal items for Vietnam impressions, whether that's the army and marines, like it works for, it works for both. So, um, I'll start out with the uh, hygiene items. Okay, so the personal items I have, and I'll put links to where I got some of this stuff, because some of the stuff is actually modern, and you could buy it off like eBay and Amazon and stuff, so it's kind of cool. So, starting over here, I just have a toothbrush case, just a blue 60s looking plastic toothbrush case. It doesn't have like a screw, it's like a pop thing. Um, next to that, I have some Stimu Dent. I'll talk about this later, but it came from an accessory packet I bought. It's a, like a post-war one, so they had this. Um, normally, it would be like you had to get your own toothpaste or something. Um, next to that, I just have a red toothbrush. I think I got this at the dentist or something. It's from China, whatever. It's a red toothbrush. I got a bunch of those, so it looks nice. Um, two water purification tablets. One is five... Uh, 66 and one is 666 so the month and, and then the, and then the year down here I just have some Tums um, they're from the 60s like late 50s 60s um, and you basically you just like slide this out and then like unwrap them so that's cool and then I just have like an empty um, like aspirin it's called soothing but it's like aspirin just an empty tin um, then I have some reproduction toilet paper that I made. There's a video on that if you want to watch that. And then I also have some, um, came from the same accessory packet as the, the, um, Stimmy Dent. It's just some toilet paper. Um, the new stuff that I acquired was like this and the accessory packet. I'm going to tell you what's new and then I, like I said, I'll put links. Um, this is just a mirror. I'm not going to. Oh, there's me. Hey, guys. Um, it's just a mirror. This one is like a cheap plastic one. But I got it off Amazon. It's going over there so it doesn't blind you in the video. Um, I think it was like $4, too. This was like $5. This was the accessory pack. It was like 8 plus shipping. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was 8 and $5 shipping. But this is just a um, modern straight razor that i bought um you can find them at like walmart but it's like super super expensive it's like 17 dollars plus blades are like five and you have to buy them separately this one you get like i think four of these i think let me see yeah four you get four of these maybe f i know no you get five because it's four it's either five in each or four in each you get you get 20 blades anyway but it's a really nice razor, but it's modern. It's made in, I think, I think it's made in India. Or, no, not India. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's, this is different, but I think it's from, I don't know. It's, I got it off eBay, but it was really cheap. It was like $9.50 for the razor and um, the blades. And, you know, it's just a regular safety razor pops apart the blade goes in there um it's really nice it's really cool haven't used it yet but i definitely will be using it in the future um next to that i just have just the sunburn protective you know the chapstick or whatever for your lips um and then i just have a just a plastic vintage looking comb i have like two of these so that's nice um so they, these are all my hygiene items including the mirror um i'm gonna cut the video and then i'll talk about like personal items but one more hygiene item is just this just the od towel so cut the video and i'll be right back with personal items now the whole thing is personal items but these on the, the a little bag here are hygiene items Where should i start i'll start over here so i have two of these snaplink carabiners you can find them on ebay 
you can find like originals from the 60s with the little us at the bottom and the 70s and 80s and stuff um but they're like 20 dollars a carabiner and that's like crazy money um just because it has like the us on it and even like the civilian ones from the period are still expensive mm -hmm. two of these on ebay is like 50 dollars. so i went on amazon and i looked up oval snap link carabiner you can get two of these for like 11 dollars, and if you have prime it's free shipping so i got two they look like the 60s ones i just i have yet to to dirty them up i guess like you know throw them in the mud and get them to look older but i got two of those really nice and they're they i think they support like a lot of weight so it's nice um new thing that i made is um i went to the store and i bought like this can of condensed milk for like a dollar and it's the right size to be the sea ration can and it was the only can that they had where it doesn't have those ridges on it so you know you don't get like the little when you when you like go up to the uh, it's crazy i'll be walking around the grocery store people give me funny looks because i'm going around and i'm doing this with the cans to see if it has ridges and i'm just trying to look for the ones that look like sea ration cans but finally found this one at like aldi or something um and i took the church key and made it the holes and um it looks really nice uh, i have yet to to use it but um yeah it's really nice and then i just have a uh, slide keeper on there uh, moving on over just have a handbook for u.s forces in vietnam you can see it's got all the branches um and then it just says published by military assistance command vietnam april 1967 uh, this i got for free it's featured in my video um from the marine veteran stuff that i got from him and then this is like a prayer book for the armed forces. It's from the army and uh, it's also 1967. If I can show it off, I will, but just take my word for it right there. 1967. Uh, one thing that I'm noticing that I don't have, but it's right here. I just have my, um, like everybody has this. It's the Camp King um, pocket knife. And I just have a slide keeper on mine. Um, that's like another nice personal item to have. Um, moving on down on this side. Like I was saying before with the accessory packet. Here it is. I opened it. Yeah, I kind of ripped the top. I probably am going to buy another one. And what I would recommend is if you buy it. Before opening it. Find one side you like. Like, don't, don't rip it across the top like I did. Go to the back and make a little slit here so that it looks like it's closed, but in the back, you can still put stuff in it and open it. Just um, don't do what I did. Even though it's post-war or late war, just don't, don't do that. I kind of regret doing that, but I'll just buy another one. Um, I noticed something, and I was wondering if anybody could help me. So it says on here, accessory packet. And then it's, it lists what, what is in here. I got everything except for the plastic spoon, like your sea ration spoon. And it was sealed, so somebody couldn't have taken it out. And it says it on there, but I don't know why it isn't included in there. I don't know if they were using these. I don't know, like, because they have, like, different accessory packets. I think it's, like, A, B, C, and D or something. And you can get different ones. Like, that's why they have different types of gum and stuff. But maybe this one just didn't come with a spoon. But if somebody has any info on that, I'd love to know why I didn't get a spoon. Luckily, I just have a regular plastic spoon that looks, like, kind of similar. It's about the same size, but it's not flat and round at the bottom. Um, stuff inside the accessory packet. So, coffee, instant type 2, sugar, salt, and uh, cream substitute dry as well as the toilet paper and the stimulant. Uh, also, I got the gum and the matches in there, but we'll get to that in a second. Down here, I just have some airmail. I think these, I, I got like, I don't know, six of these from my grandmother. They were just in her closet and I found them. So that's really, really nice. Um, they don't have any writing on them. So it's really, really cool. Probably never gonna use them because they're hard to find, but uh, I could always photocopy them and 
do that. Um, just have a 60s looking watch. I think it's a Swiss watch, but I can't, I'm not sure. It just has, like, the little, it's a, I think it's an analog watch. Maybe, like, over here. I don't know. It's a cool watch. I have multiple watches, but none of them work. Um, I have the church key that I use to make the, um, sea ration stove with, um, have some matches in the plastic modern match case, but it's, it looks similar to the, um, 60s ones. Let's see if I can, like, pop it open or something. I can't, I can't do that one-handed. Sorry about that. I just had to cut the video real quick. Um, moving up here, I have just a modern Zippo lighter. I think I got this at Walmart for, like, $10 thing is a lot of this stuff you can find it's just a period stuff like looking is, is pretty hard to find it's just a modern zippo um yeah really nice probably needs gas but yeah it needs gas uh just some electrical tape some of the beaches gum so also accessory packet thing just gum kind of like chiclets but a different company or something what i found interesting is it's actually a lifesavers like thing which is really interesting and then you just have your just your regular matches um two pens a blue and a black pen black ink blue ink uh, i don't have a pencil right now i don't know where i put it but it's just a regular pencil regular yellow pencil white pencil whatever um, the only thing I don't have here is, like, writing paper, but I do have this right in the rain book. This thing was, like, a dollar, I think, at my school bookstore or whatever. Um, so, really cool. And then I have a flash bulb for my camera, Kodak camera. Um, I think it's 1966 dated because of the books, and I have the books here, too. But this book, this book is dated 1966. I've showed this off before uh, in my other, my latest video, actually, but 1966. So I think the camera's also 1966. But one thing that's not in my last video that I found in the bottom of the box is, like, this thing. It's like a guide to taking flash photos. Excuse me, I can't talk today. It's a guide for taking flash photos, which is really cool. Um... That's going to be it for this video. Uh, all Most of all of this stuff, except for like the camera and the letters, goes in my Crown Royale bag. So, really nice. Really cool. Uh, obviously, all my hygiene items go in this bag. Um, yeah, I'll put all the links to the items in the, the, in the description. I cannot talk today. Um, comment what videos you want to see next. Um concerns anything like that whatever just comment and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you